guys welcome back to my channel my name's Emily and today I have popular books that I haven't read yet I was looking at my shelves the other day and I'm like you know there are so many books in here that are popular that I really have just not read yet so I thought I would just go through them and maybe explain why I haven't but I think most of them are just gonna be they're really hyped so let's jump into it the first one I have is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the light from glaring off of it. Um, but I have read the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series by this author. Um, it was okay, uh, so I think that's why I'm a little hesitant to pick this up. Also, I feel like her books take me long to read, so that is why this one's on here. The cover's stunning and it sounds interesting, just haven't picked it up. Sorry. <laughs> the next one, I've had it forever. Again, it's very popular. I think it might take me a while, so I want to read the audiobook for it, and that is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Haven't even read The Starless Sea either, so uh, yeah, this one is pretty shameful, honestly. <laughs> the next one I've gotten halfway through, and then I left it for so long that I just couldn't remember everything that happened, so I need to reread it to get to the other ones, but again, it's like historical fiction-y, paranormal-esque kind of thing, so... Uh, it's taking me a little longer and I feel like the audiobooks will help me get through them. And that is The Diviners by Libba Bray. I was really enjoying what I read, so I know it's a good book, but I have not restarted it to continue to finish this book or the series. So again, I have not read anything else by this author, so this is it. Um, yikes. This is a shameful pile. Let me just start by saying that this whole pile is very shameful. <laughs> so I know. <laughs> Next, I have a pretty chunky one and I think people can understand why I haven't read this one yet. Uh, it takes me a little while to get through things and I've only just started to really get into adult fantasy, but uh, this book. <laughs> Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Now I have read The Bone Season by this author and I love The Bone Season. So I know that I like this author's writing and I even think I got through the first couple of chapters with this and I was enjoying what I was reading. Um, there was a lot going on, a lot of characters to keep track of, but I was enjoying it, but I got the audiobook for it and it's just sitting here waiting for me to get to it. But I mean, it's how many pages? It's probably really close to 800 pages. So, and I've read books that are bigger than that. So I don't know why <laughs> this is becoming a problem. The next one is one of my most shameful <laughs> ones because I hear nothing but good things about it. And that is Miss Born by Mr. Brandon Sanderson. Now I have a good excuse for this one. I want to read his books in like the order that you should read it for the Cosmere. And I've read Warbreaker, but then I've since decided that I need to start with Elantris. And I know that that's not his best book at all that people find it one of his least favorite books and uh, I'm a little hesitant now and I think it was the first book he actually like published so I really want to get to this one part of me is like just start with this and be done with it just get to it and if I like it then I'll be happy to reread it uh so yeah I know I know I need to just read it next I have okay so this one's not as shameful because there are a bunch of series that take place like in this world and that is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This is book one of the Dark Artifices. Now I've read The Mortal Instruments and The Infernal Devices multiple times. I just need to get into this one. These books are also really big and these ones also really take me a long time to get into. Um, I prefer listening to the audiobooks because they just help me get through it and focus on it more and I read along with it. Uh, I don't really have a reason other than it's just not been a top priority for me because there are so many books that are set in this world of the Shadow Hunters, and I feel like sometimes it gets to be like repetitive. Um, so I know that I'll really enjoy this. I know a lot of people have really loved this trilogy in this continual series. But I just have not picked it up yet. I want to, just haven't got there yet. So this next one is a middle grade, and that is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. Uh, 
a lot of people love this series. I think I've just been waiting for all of them to come out, but the author took a break and I think the fourth one is finally coming out this year. Uh, so I just need to read it. Who cares? If I like it, then I'll be excited when each book comes out after. So just read it already. My God. <laughs> I just need to read all these books. They're so popular and I hear such good things about them and I just haven't read them. It's so intimidating and they get so hyped up and I just get too afraid to read them. So I just need to read these. The next one has really been gaining a lot of popularity recently and that is Malice by John Gwynn. Um, it has Viking aspects in it and it's got multiple POVs. It's an adult fantasy and I just need to read this one already. This one is probably one of the very top ones that I really want to get to soon. I say that about a lot of books but you know there's just so many and I just go for the ones that I don't have too high of expectations because if they let me down, it's okay, because I was expecting it. But, you know, these ones, these ones are all so hyped up in my head that I need them to be good. And if they're not, I get so sad about it. So I just want to read this one already. He has so many different series out now that I just want to binge them all. And I haven't even read anything by this guy. And I just, the hype is getting to me. So, you know, this book also needs to be read, but I haven't read it yet. Next, I was waiting for the audiobook for this one, um, and it finally came back out on Audible, so I had picked it up, and that is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I've heard really good things about this. I love superhero, supervillain things, um, and we're following Victor and Eli, and uh, they find out that to get powers, you have to have, like, a near-death experience, and... I don't know, something happens, one ends up in jail, and I, it's just like chaos ensues. But I've heard really good things about this. Um, I've heard okay things about the second book, uh, but I just, I like V. Schwab's writing. So, you know, I just haven't picked it up yet. Same with all these books, have not picked it up yet. So this last one is my absolute most shameful one on this entire list. I don't even know how I've been able to avoid spoilers, but I have, and I'm just so happy that I've not been spoiled, but I'm so hyped for this, and that is House of Earth and Blood, Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. This is my favorite author of all time. I haven't gotten to this, and you can see the second book right there, and I've heard that the ending for that one is really upsetting, and I just... I just kind of want to wait for all of them to be out so I can just binge them. But one of these days I'm going to get spoiled for these books. So I just, I just need to read these. But I still haven't. All these popular books and I have not read them. This one, my most shameful of them all. I know. Just get to it. It's been on your TBR plenty of times. I'm only just read it already. <laughs> well, that was it. You saw my shameful pile of popular books that I have not read yet. And I'm sure a lot of you are probably like, what the heck is wrong with you? These are so good. Just read them already. It's hard, okay? It is hard to read a book that you're so excited for, but you're so afraid that it's not going to live up to the expectations that you have for it. So, that was all of them. I'm sure there are probably way more I could add to this list, but these ones were like the ones that really stuck with me. Um, so like this video if you liked it. Comment down below. Uh, give me an argument for whichever book you think I need to pick up as soon as possible. And subscribe if you want to. I would greatly appreciate it. Until my next video, I will see you guys soon. Bye!